guys, welcome back to another YouTube video of the model I was set up because Dawn and Doreen at the same time so yeah it's been one of those days today um who's the trust who's the trust well you clearly trust me because obviously we know each other for a long time um trust in a group you've been for what is it five or six weeks yeah, I'll just try to, get, try to be careful to who you talk to because people tend to your, they care about you, but in reality, they probably don't give a what's it about you, you know? But yeah, just keep watch your back to who you talk to because who knows that they could be a good a scam. But yeah, especially after the, uh, the experience you had recently with the hack of that video. Yeah. Yeah, I would just recommend to be careful. I mean, if they're generally nice people, it should be alright, but if they're not, you want to be careful. So today, guys, we're going to have a big tidy up of the railway. Then we're going to have the two inner, one inner line, outer line, one inner line. And what I'm planning to do with this railway at some point probably later this year is going to be basically this whole setup is going to be set up as the, about five or six years ago basically there's going to be a branch line there and there's going to be a branch line over here with the good, the good shed and the quarry maybe a waterfall down the side of it and we have a little forest going on the back of it so I think that could be a potential option because it has to be a slow process of a bit of time, but could work. Anyway, Mosh, I am doing a video right now. Um, as I said, just to be careful who you talk to. But, yeah, you never can tell the people's attitude. Especially in modern day time, people can be a little bit... Uh, what's they called? And then mood swings, if you like. People go into one mode and they go into a different mode. So you get a combination of people have a good day when they're saying you're fine or something. The other days you'll completely just tip you off and not give a fuck what you think. <laughs> you know, I've, I've had people like that before. Anyway, I'll talk later and I'll talk more about that later on, okay? right now I'm filming a YouTube video on my model arrows. Yeah. So yeah, we're just filming a YouTube video on my model array setup and the how things are gonna change on this channel for that way. Nothing's going to be bad on this channel. I'm going to do some hunt, hunt hunted um, YouTube videos that I'm going to do in Halloween. I'm not doing it at home. I'm going to do some haunted videos in Halloween. Some with a Ouija board. Some with I guess, being a haunted building and just spawning the place. Um, but that would be in Halloween time. But right now, I'm just going to come straight my railway stuff. My really gameplay stuff. I know there's adventure videos as well. But I'm going to set up another YouTube channel for the adventure and video gameplay series. At some point, for this channel will just be for the Huawei stuff. I've been into Huawei since I was very really little. But, as again, that was. No, I've been to Burma since I was a little boy, but you know, first things that I had was a plastic train set, and I had that for my six, six years old birthday, and that's the first time I had about about model railway in plastic form. I loved it, but now I've got a big model railway set up on my table, which is really cool. 
I spent thousands and thousands of pounds on this table and the trains that I bought with it. So it's a lot of money. Model is not cheap. <laughs> I would not say that now. Model is not cheap. Because obviously our neighbour, son I guess, is into trains as well. Got it was set on his bedroom apparently. So Model Iris is a big a big um, thing for a lot of people. I mean yes again Model Iris is not cheap. You can do it on a budget, you can do it bit by bit. Obviously I'm doing a lot of my stuff on by a budget because I can't afford big quantities of it in a, a big space of time. But you know it does populate a lot of people for the trains. I got a guy I talked to on Messenger. He's into trains as well, he's into old trains and models. But he's also into what was that? He's also into I think he has a friend who does bus driving, which is cool. Not ever wanna be a bus driver. I used to have a thing when I was young. Wanted to be a be a train driver. Obviously I couldn't. Not when well, my past history was suffering with absolute and seizures when I was a kid, so I couldn't. Obviously, I had another one of those when I was <laughs> back in July this year, I had a fit again, and that wasn't fun either. So, you know, I had another seizure when I was just a few months back. They can be serious, they can kill you, potentially. You have to be careful. I don't think what we're going to do, guys. Hey, yeah, I'm going to do some tidying, aren't we? So I'm going to do some tidying today. Take the track off and basically tidy the whole lot up. And I'm going to put the tunnel back in. But you know, different space. I'm gonna peel this gravel off, you know, quarries, stuff off, which is, by the way, it's actually just coal I scrushed up and then laid it down as a track for. And it's cheaper than actually buying, you know, actual track, um, track scenery if you like. But I'll probably still buy some of that stuff because obviously it can be very handy for firefighters and things like that. So, you know. I've been in a happy mood today, but again, I've just been super busy on various stuff and tidying the house. So, because my sister and her boyfriend went away for about three weeks and then about next week. And uh, the chap messenger has a caution me, I think. Mean. <laughs> 